Hi, this is the National Weather Service office in Medford, Oregon, and we are going to focus on some weather impacts in the week ahead, and then additionally uh, next weekend. We'll cover the general outlook, what we can expect, and some data behind the forecast. So we'll go from the what, and then if you want to stick around a little bit, we'll go into the why some. So we do expect significant weather impacts and we'd like to highlight those. So we'll first, we'll just go to today. Uh, let's start with our weather story here. And it highlights the heavy rainfall at the coast. We have an atmospheric river that's pointed right at our coastline. And the majority of the rain, the heaviest rainfall is expected mostly north of Gold Beach. Brookings will see some rain. They're seeing some significant rain right now, but the the most, uh, the most highest totals are gonna be north of Gold Beach. Just emphasis on slowing down on the roadways, ponding of water on roadways expected, and uh, it will taper off again later uh, tonight into tomorrow. Now getting back to our presentation here, talk a little bit about what we know and then what we'll hopefully learn this week and communicate. Heavy rain at the coast today, I already mentioned that. The weather pattern after a relative break on Monday, it becomes more active later in the week. And confidence is higher than normal for uh, like modified Arctic air mass to come on down from Western Canada and bring us some very low snow levels by the weekend and really lowering snow levels uh, middle of the week towards late of the week as well. What we don't know yet, but we'll learn this week and communicate specific impact areas and time frames for impact. You know, we'll be considering winter storm watches for some systems upcoming. We'll be tracking how cold the air mass will be that's gonna be coming down from Canada and how much precipitation, always the key question is how much precipitation will interact with that cold air to produce any low elevation snowfall or just snowfall in general across the area. To summarize the impacts, we've color coded them from green, little to none, up to the highest in this chart is high impacts. And we'll start with today into tonight some high level, high elevation mountain snow, generally above 5,500 feet. And then that rainfall that I already mentioned, we also have some gusty winds in some of the valleys that favor south winds. Monday, some of that rain at the coast lightens up and still expecting some rain, but generally light. And the passes, this looks like a relative good day for traveling over the mountain passes. Tuesday, we have a relatively quick moving system pushing in from the west, and we expect some snowfall potentially down to I-5 levels around the Mount Shasta, Shasta City area. Snow levels are generally 3,500 to 4,000 feet, and with Mount Shasta City at about 3,500 feet, snow levels will be around there. So expect some snow impacts. And again, uh, another breezy to gusty winds in those areas, coast, high terrain, Shasta, Rogue Valleys. Late Wednesday to Friday, the weather really picks up. Systems become wetter and colder with time. So snow levels will lower gradually from maybe 40, 500 feet or so down to potentially 3,000 feet through the period. And we expect significant mountain pass travel impacts. Now moving into Saturday and Sunday, you can see there we, we've highlighted as high impact. It's, it's a potential for, for high risk or high impact days, uh, Saturday and Sunday, because that's when we expect very cold air mass to move in. Multiple systems bringing some precipitation to the area, snow levels dropping to 1,000 to 2,000 feet, perhaps even lower. And that's where we can see widespread accumulating snowfall across much of the forecast area. So we've gone into kind of the what, and now we'll go briefly into the why. So first, we're just gonna take a peek at the, this is a nice uh, site 
uh, climatereanalyzer.org, and it shows temperatures and how above or below normal. Above normal is in the reds, below normal is in the blues and purples, and you can see a lot of cold air there in western Canada poised to make its way southward. And if you look at our satellite imagery here, I'm going to pull it up from, from our website here. You go to radar satellite, and you click on the satellite tab. You go on down, and here's the water vapor imagery. So if you look at this big picture, we have this big ridge of high pressure over uh, the Aleutians here. And you can see just to the east of that, you have winds going from north to south, diving down west of this low that's spinning over the northeast Pacific waters. Well, as that kind of ridge high pressure moves eastward, that's going to allow this uh, cold air to filter towards our area. And that's a classic pattern for cold, uh, uh, cold air masses and potential for low elevation snow. And that's, that's the setup here. And then I'm going to briefly just show you, a lot, looks like a lot, of, uh, a lot of lines here, but I'll try to break it down. This, this takes uh, the American uh, model, the GFS, and its ensemble members. So it's 30 different members. Each member represents the atmosphere is just tweaked just a little bit at the start, at the initial conditions, and then the model runs from there. So it kind of gives you a, a range of potential what could happen. These colored areas, the, the red to the blue, that just represents uh, the air mass, how cold it is at about 5,000 feet, good proxy for the air mass temperature. And you can see that, that shaded, those shaded pink and gray and blue areas just trend lower and lower through the week and into next weekend. And that represents the air mass is cooling. You can see the, there's not a, a ton of range between them. So we, get, we have pretty high confidence that the air mass is going to get colder with time and very cold potentially. You can see these lines here, Crater Lake, Lake of the Woods, Siskiyou Summit. When the line, that, that single line, drops below those, uh, the line of Sexton Pass or Medford, it just suggests the air mass getting cold enough for snow in those areas based on our studies and our experience here. So you can see it dips into the Medford area, the valleys, uh, by Saturday, Sunday time frame. And then all these boxes here at the bottom, uh, green and gray boxes, that represents precipitation. So you can see uh, Thursday, Wednesday night, Thursday, you can see a lot more precipitation as those snow levels lower and the air mass gets colder. So we could have potentially significant snowfall. And then as the uh, the temperatures cool off, you still have precipitation around, which again, uh, gets gets our attention for the potential for low elevation snow. So that's just kind of a little bit of the why into what we're thinking. And we'll end the video now, appreciate your time, and please stay tuned to our forecast on weather.gov forward slash Medford or uh, social media, and have a wonderful uh, rest of your Sunday.